Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Mards from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And this is a quick video number two today. It is May 22nd. And this is a beautiful flying squirrel. I know a lot of people, I had never seen one until five years ago. And this is box E10. And uh, what's interesting is I was reading this morning about the northern flying squirrels up in the state of West Virginia. And there's uh, a man who has studied those animals for 30 years and they have an interesting relationship of all weird things. The squirrels eat truffles or something similar. Basically it's a uh, like a fungus uh, type of plant and it's near the base of red spruce. Well I hope I got the tree right. And apparently the fungi and the tree itself they share nutrients but then the squirrel when they eat the food puts the spores back in or, or in different areas and helps everything so all three are related it's very odd uh, to read this this morning and then I get to see uh, a beautiful flying squirrel in E10 and this is during the Sea Pines Bluebird project hope everybody can see him look how adorable oh my god so Hey, what's unnatural is he doesn't have a nest yet. Uh, normally, they'll have this whole box filled up three quarters of the way with soft grasses. And also, they're very fearful, uh, which is smart. Um, they're nocturnal, so he's probably really tired. And I'm going to shut this box in one second. Uh, I've only got it recorded once where they were in flight, and they have a beautiful cape, uh, which is basically loose skin from the front legs to the back legs. And... They start up high, and then for every three feet they go across, they drop down a foot, and it's it's amazing. Oh, oh, he's going to be nervous. Okay. All right, here he goes. Oh, I don't want him to go out. Okay, so we're going to sign off. But anyway, he should have a little nest. Hey, baby. All right, we're signing off live with the beautiful, look at this little cutie, flying squirrel. It's Karen Martz. Have a great day.